have heard that things didn't exactly go the way I planned. But you know what? I'm doing okay. I've gotten to spend time with my family, especially my amazing grandchildren. I was going to give the entire commencement speech about them, but was talked out of it. Long walks in the woods. Organizing my closets, right? I won't lie, Chardonnay helped a little too. But here's what helped most of all. Remembering who I am, where I come from, and what I believe. Now, if any of you are nervous about what you'll be walking into when you leave the campus, I know that feeling. I do remember my commencement. We didn't trust government, authority figures, or really anyone over 30. <laughs> In large part, thanks to years of heavy casualties and dishonest official statements about Vietnam, and deep differences over civil rights and poverty here at home. We were asking urgent questions about whether women, people of color, religious minorities, immigrants would ever be treated with dignity and respect. And by the way, we were furious about the past presidential election of a man whose presidency would eventually end in disgrace with his impeachment for obstruction of justice. After firing the person running the investigation into him at the Department of Justice, you are graduating at a time when there is a full-fledged assault on truth and reason. Just log on. Just log on to social media for 10 seconds. It will hit you right in the face. People denying science. Drumming up rampant fear about undocumented immigrants, Muslims, minorities, the poor. Turning neighbor against neighbor and sowing division at a time when we desperately need unity. Some are even denying things we see with our own eyes, like the size of crowds. <laughs> and then defending themselves by talking about, quote unquote, alternative facts. <laughs> 